five fall fashion trends that will be out of style in 2023. I am so excited about all of the amazing fall trends that are going to be in and out of style. And so that is exactly what I'm here to talk to you about today, along with the five trends that are completely out of style and that you should ditch from your closet this fall. I'm also going to be sharing the five trends that are in style and that you can swap them for. In this video, I'll be sharing 10 amazing fall outfits and as always everything I'm talking about will be linked down below in my description box along with sizing information for reference make sure you listen to this entire video because the last trend trend number five that is completely out of style is actually the most controversial trend for women over 40 I have heard other over 40 influencers I have tons of over 40 friends that are very stylish and this is the one trend that we all agree we will absolutely not be wearing so definitely stick around for that one before i get started i would love to thank express for sponsoring this video express has been one of my favorite places to shop since i was in my teens actually i think i started shopping there when i was maybe like in the 10th grade i think and i'm almost 50 years old you guys i will be 50 this november and i still still love shopping at Express. They have high quality pieces that are very on trend, very fashion forward, but the best part is none of these pieces will break the bank. So get ready for some amazing fall fashion that is extremely affordable and very in style. Okay, trend number one that is completely out of style and that is the cutout shoulder trend. So I see this trend still on women and I'm surprised that people are actually still wearing it, but it's like those t-shirts with the cutout shoulders or just any top that basically has cutout shoulders. That is definitely out of style, so I would say ditch that trend and opt for subtle cutouts. Cutouts in the chest area, cut out maybe in one shoulder, cut out in the back. It doesn't really matter, but definitely stay away from the cutouts in the shoulder area. So this is a fabulous brown cutout sweater. It has one subtle cutout on the shoulder. This is a gorgeous chocolate brown shade, you guys. And let me tell you that chocolate brown is gonna be one of the hottest colors this fall and winter. So I'm so excited about this color. I think it looks good on almost any skin tone and almost any eye color or hair color. So it really is a great neutral color that can be worn so many different ways. You can kind of think of chocolate brown as the new black. And I tucked this easy, simple chocolate brown sweater, which by the way is under $50. So what a steal for such a great top for fall. You can wear it alone, but then you could easily top a jacket over it as well. It would look very chic that way. I paired it with these amazing 90s slim cut straight leg jeans. You guys, I'm obsessed with these jeans. They're high waisted. They have a really cool seam up the front of the denim, up the front of your leg. This is very elongating. This front seam has a very elongating effect on your legs it's gonna make them look miles long it's gonna make you look taller and you look slimmer and by the way these are insanely insanely comfortable as well because they do have a little bit of stretch in them so they're gonna really mold to your body hugging your curves in all the right places I love this light wash I also love the really cool slit up the front of the ankle and I am five foot four for reference and I always order the regular length and express denim and that's another really cool thing about express denim is that you can order them in different lengths short regular and long depending on your height which is nice because then that means you don't have to take them to the tailor okay trend number two that is out of style are low-rise jeggings so you know what I'm talking about right like the low-rise super tight skinny jeans those are definitely out of style if you want to wear skinny jeans they are still in style but I would opt for a mid-rise or a high-rise and a little bit more of a looser sort of tapered leg fit. I call this the modern skinny jean and that one is definitely in style this fall and winter. But more than the modern skinny jean, what is really gonna be trending hard in the denim world this fall is relaxed denim. Whether that's high rise relaxed denim, 
tapered leg relaxed denim or mid-rise relaxed denim relaxed denim is where it's at this fall and winter as far as jeans are concerned so these are a really cool pair of black jeans from express they're more of a mid to low rise um, they're a tapered leg but they're still baggy so I really like them because of the tapered leg I think that makes them look a little bit more flattering um, they're very like cool girls sort of fashion forward if you want to know what all the it girls and all the celebrities are wearing this is what kind of denim they're wearing more of that mid-rise baggy tapered leg denim and I'm literally obsessed with this faded black wash you guys know that faded black wash is my personal favorite color of denim to wear because it's edgy it's cool and it goes with so many different things I paired it with a simple black faux leather bodysuit. This is actually what I'm wearing today. I love this faux leather bodysuit. It's also from Express, so very reasonably priced. And then I topped it with this Alice and Olivia cropped denim jacket. This is my first purchase for fall. I love this jacket. It's cropped, so I think that's perfect for my five foot four frame, but if you're a little bit taller, it is still gonna look amazing on you as well. It's a great medium denim wash. I love this easy, effortless moto style. And denim jackets, obviously, they're timeless, they're classic, they're never gonna go out of style. And I love this one because it can be dressed super casual on the weekends with sneakers and a simple t-shirt, but then you can also wear it with jeans and heels and dress it up a bit. Okay, the third thing that is out of style this fall, these are two prints that are out of style. That would be camo or paisley. So I would say definitely stay away from those two prints. And instead of wearing those, you can wear olive green instead of camo, and you can wear chocolate brown instead of paisley. So if you want to go the olive green route, I love this amazing olive green blazer from Express. It is perfectly oversized and oversized blazers are still holding strong this fall and winter. They were in last year and they will definitely still be in this season as well. I love this blazer because of the color. It's a beautiful olive green shade. It's also wrinkle free. It looks way more expensive than it really is. And I just think there is nothing cooler. There is nothing chicer than draping a blazer over your outfit you are guaranteed to elevate it like 10 notches when you drape your jacket and then I went with the same faux leather bodysuit I had on earlier proving its versatility and wearability and then these are a medium wash skyscraper jean so the skyscraper jean is my favorite silhouette that Express carries. It's more of a mid-rise. It also has a floor skimming hemline, so it does a great job of making your legs look crazy long and making you look taller and slimmer. And I think this wash is like so perfect for fall and winter, really pairing well with all of those neutral shades, all of the darker colors as well, like black, like chocolate brown. So these would be a perfect pair of jeans to add to your denim collection this fall. Now, if you want to wear chocolate brown, this is a chocolate brown sheer bodysuit. I love this bodysuit. I don't have a bra underneath it. If you wanted to wear a bra underneath it, you certainly could. That's what the model on the Express website did, and I think it looks really good that way. But since I was topping off this sheer bodysuit with a blazer, I didn't feel the need to wear a bra because I knew I would always have my jacket on. Um, sheer is another trend that's really hot this fall, so I will be sure and get to that in a moment. But this bodysuit, Again, it's long sleeve. It's very on trend because it is sheer and it is chocolate brown. I topped it off with this structured ivory blazer also from Express. The material is wrinkle free. The quality is really high, but the price point is still really, really good. Very budget friendly. This would be a great blazer to wear to the office, but then you can also wear it in the evenings on a girl's night out or a date night. I paired it with those same light wash 90s slim jeans with the really cool seam up the front of the leg. You guys, these jeans are literally my new favorites. I wore them all weekend long because they're that comfortable. And I got stopped, I think like three different times by women saying like, oh my gosh, what jeans are those? I've gotta have those jeans. So I'm really kind of thinking these are gonna sell out because they're that good. So if you love them as much as I do, like hit pause, Click the link below, go grab them because I really do think these are gonna sell out. All right, the next trend that is out of style in 2023 is the hemline that hits right above your kneecap. So this is a trend that's not only out of style, but it is also a hemline that is just not flattering. I don't care how beautiful your legs are, 
I just don't think that a hemline hitting right above the knee is very flattering. I think it needs to hit a couple inches above the knee or below the knee being a midi length or to the floor being a maxi length. So I'm gonna show you a mini length, a midi length, and a maxi length that you can wear instead of wearing that awful length that hits right above the knee because like I said, I just don't think it's very flattering no matter how pretty your legs are. So this is a olive green cargo mini skirt. So olive green is gonna be a good trend in 2023. Also the cargo mini skirt is another hot trend we are seeing this fall and winter. I love this mini skirt because it matches the blazer. So it's a beautiful matching set. It's also high waisted. It has a great belt that comes with the skirt. So it's gonna be very flattering. It basically hits on your waist at the perfect spot it's comfortable, it's wrinkle-free, it's roomy, it's not too tight because the thing that you don't wanna do, ladies, if you're gonna wear a mini skirt and you're over 40, I would suggest keeping two things in mind. Number one, make sure the mini skirt is not too tight. Number two, make sure that you cover the top portion of your body because this is going to create balance. And I'm gonna go ahead and add a number three in there. Make sure that your heels are not too crazy high because you will look like you're trying too hard. So I went with a two and a half to three inch heel. These are old, but I will be linking some similar low heels that I think would pair really well with this outfit. I topped it with that same oversized blazer and then the awesome uh, faux leather bodysuit that I think looks really good with this outfit. Okay, this is the maxi hemline. This is a really cool maxi dress from Express, you guys. I love the cutout. So this is a great way that you can wear the cutout trend that's not on the shoulders. It's just sort of in the middle of the chest area. So very tastefully sexy and obviously very on trend. This is a great neutral color. This maxi dress does come in three different colors though. I think black and olive green are the other two shades. The price point is amazing. It's very comfortable. It hugs your curves in all the right places. You can wear it alone like I have here, but you could also top it off with that ivory blazer and I think it would look very polished and very put together. Now this is a midi dress option which is my personal favorite length of hemline to wear. I think it is the most flattering no matter what your body type, no matter what your body shape, no matter how tall you are, no matter how short you are. A midi dress is always going to look flattering on you, I promise, ladies. This one is amazing. It's ruched. It's a beautiful purple shade, so a bit on the um, unique side because of the color. I love purple. It's actually my favorite color. Um, this one is also from Express, so very reasonably priced. The ruching is going to do a great job of really making you look slimmer and really holding everything in. This one is also wrinkle-free, and I just paired it with some amazing silver platforms because because platform shoes are another big trend that we're gonna be seeing this fall and winter. And then I just went with a silver and black rhinestone bag. This one is also from Express. Um, this would be a great look to wear to a fall or winter wedding. You could top it off with a black fur coat, a black faux fur jacket, a black leather jacket, a black leather blazer. Like the possibilities are endless because this purple dress is so versatile, but I do think it would be perfect to wear to a winter wedding. Now this is another mini hemline. This is a mini t-shirt dress from Express, so the price point is so very budget friendly. The material is actually higher quality than a regular t-shirt material. It's a little bit nicer than that. It's more of like a slick jersey material. It's wrinkle free. The top portion of the dress is very roomy and then the bottom has sort of some ruching going on so it's very slimming. It's extremely comfortable and I don't know about you but when it's really hot out, this is just an easy dress to throw on when I don't feel like wearing jeans and I'm still gonna look polished and put together. I paired it with this really fabulous Acne Studios handbag that I just got from the Forward by Elise Walker website. This bag is sort of like a faded black, so it's very edgy. It looks really good with black. It would also pair well with whites and grays too. Okay, trend number five, the one that we've all been waiting for that is definitely the most controversial for women over 40, and that is the sheer trend. It just depends on how you wear the sheer trend. If you're over 40, I would say don't wear the sheer trend on the bottom portion of your body. We've been seeing a lot of models and a lot of celebrities wearing the sheer trend on the bottom portion of their body. 
and I'm just not a fan. People wear like underwear underneath the sheer trend. You can see the underwear, even if it's not skimpy underwear, even if it's like skims black underwear or nude underwear and it's not skimpy, I still think it looks kind of trashy. I still don't love it and I just don't think if you're over 40 you should wear the trend and honestly, I don't think you should wear the trend no matter what your age is because I just think it's a horrible trend. Who's with me? Do you agree with me or do you disagree? I would love to hear in the comments below. So instead of wearing the sheer trend on the bottom portion of your body, I would suggest wearing the sheer trend on the top portion of your body because that is a tasteful way to wear the sheer trend this fall and winter. This is an amazing sheer bodysuit from Express. As you can see, the top portion is sheer. This is a beautiful top. It comes in three different colors. You could wear it alone, but you could also top it off with a blazer. Um, I wore this to dinner the other night and I got tons of compliments on my outfit. I also wore those amazing 90s slim cut jeans that I can't get enough of. You guys know these are my absolute favorites. So those were the five fall fashion trends that are out of style and what you can wear instead. Please let me know what your favorite fall trend is and what you're most excited to wear. I want to thank Express for sponsoring this video and for more style information you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope all of you have a beautiful day because you deserve it. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.